What's up guys? It's the only ninja wearing aviators and it's been at the gym. I'm not even wearing a suit today. But today I'm bringing you another episode of Combat for Dummies. And in this episode, we're going over another combination I came up with. This is going to be the curb stop combo. Run that intro. So as far as this combination goes, it's going to be pretty self-explanatory. It's going to use a lot of techniques that you guys already know. And if you don't already know them, definitely check the uh, playlist at the end of this video to get yourself caught up in all of the combat for dummy videos. I release this every week, so you should have plenty to catch up with. So here we go. We're going to start off with whatever fighting stance you want to. I like, I'm going to have my dominant leg forward. I suggest you do the same for right now. Obviously, in the future, you can swap legs, but for right now, I'm just going to show you my dominant side. Hands up, always guarding that face, always keeping your hands ready to fight. Now, you're going to have one, two, your jab, and then your cross, just like that. One, two. Now, once you do that, those jabs, those uh, face-hitting punches, make sure they hit the face. Uh, that is just to stun them. You're not expecting to drop anybody with this yet. So, one, two, now. Your right hand is gonna come around for a rib shot, breaking the floating rib. Again, one more time. Right, left, coming around, breaking the floating rib right up there. Now, assuming this guy is not just some wimp and he can you know, throw a punch back, you're going to jump under the punch. Watch, I go from one side to the other. I, it's like I'm drawing a U with my head. Don't just drop straight down, don't bow. Bowing's never bad, because if you bow, you're gonna get hit in the face, that's not good. Keep your shoulders square the whole time and dip your body just like that. So, you're gonna go one, two, ribs, duck under. Now, left hand, back is gonna come across, hook towards the side of the head, towards that temple or hinge of the jaw, going right there. Now, as soon as you hit, you're going to spin up and around and your kick is gonna come up and crack down on their head. Basically, you're knocking them over so you can knock them out with the back of your heel on the back of their head. This is very dangerous, so keep that in mind. So, again, watch. Whoa. I'm sorry, there was a, a really big bird above my head for a second. Anyway, you're gonna go one, two, three, duck, cross, right leg up, bang, just like that. Just Making them eat ground. One more time. One, two, three. Whoop. One, two, three. Juck. Cross. Curb stomp, just like that, all the way through. One, two, three. Huh. One, two. Woo! Man, I really should have worn better shoes and not done it on grass. Anyway, one more time. One, two, three. Under. Cross. Bang. Just like that. Coming across at that jaw you want to hit when you hit with that punch you want to hit the hinge of the jaw that will hurt a lot one it'll also break their jaw so they can't you know talk and do a lot of important things with their face so yep see that's where the grass slipped from underneath me that's why i fell <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys like this combination. I uh, was thinking about this combination for actually a long time and I just just now got around to actually making the video for it. But hopefully this will work for you guys. Hold you over till the next one. Um, I'm not sure what the next one is. If you want to give me some ideas for the future, you let me know down in the comments. I would really appreciate your ideas for either techniques that you want me to go over, maybe it's combinations that you want me to go over, maybe you saw something on in a movie or a TV show that you want me to go over, let me know because I would love to take it, dissect it, and see if it Until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe, but my name is DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.